Good afternoon everybody, this is Mugcat here. Uh, today I'm going to go through the first part of my tutorial series. Uh, we're going to do basic getting started with uh, Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. And here we go, we're going to start. Uh, first thing you do, uh, easy enough, you want to make yourself a character. you got several different uh, models. Right now we have a uh, basic template. Uh, we're still in the beta. I wanted to get this out here before that, but these will have the different visual models. I believe there's three male and three female. Uh, you just choose one and pick out a name for yourself. Easy enough. Type it on there. Confirm. All right. And select your character. And all right, we're on our way. As you see here, you got lots of different things you could do. What we're gonna do? We're gonna start off in the academy. Uh, the reason you want to do that, tutorials that are in there, they are very helpful. A uh, little more in depth. We got the basics, uh, fish, what to do with the fish on, stalking, baiting, multiple rods. Uh, they're very good. The other good thing about it is you get experience points and you also get tackle points. You know, tackle points are what you use in the shop to buy different gear. So it's very important to have that. And your starter gear, you start out with some bread flakes and, you know, very basic rod and hooks. Uh, so you'll want to upgrade your gear as soon as possible to catch some of them bigger fish, some carp and stuff. So what you should do, you know, take the time, go through these tutorials, run them and get them. They're, they're free points and it teaches you more about the game. Now after you've done that, the next thing to do you come in and you want to do the challenges. Now these also will give you points and also help you know sharpen your skills before you go out there and tackle tackle some of the fish. Uh, this one here is score attack. Uh, you see I give you a score to beat and you know the experience and tackle points that you can earn by by completing the challenge. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of them here. Uh, this is the score attack obviously the uh, blue and white rings, those are larger, you know, less points. If you get in the red ring, you get even more points. Uh, I need to get some more practice in myself here. All right. I'm not doing so well just yet. Well, let's see what we can do here. And as you can see, you know, even even if you're seasoned, sometimes you need to uh, get some of this practice in. It's good to kind of help pinpoint a thousand on that one there. I find it's best that you know, especially with these kind of target target one you can normally reach. Now the one all the way in the back gives the most points, of course. Uh, oop, almost. That one there, we get a thousand points for hitting the red wing. I think the one in the back, if we even get it in the blue and white, that's a, that's a thousand points. So, you know, the trade off is obviously there's more chance to miss it. Now, there we go, we got it. Just trying to play through here. We got enough to get ourselves a gold star. You can go for, you know, high score. We're gonna try getting this back right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's another way as well to get really used to the, uh, the casting. That takes some getting used to. Uh, a lot of it is timing. Um, I know I tried to do it visually, and I had a harder time. But if you do do the casting, just kind of try and time it in your head, and it'll go better for you. So let's see here. Last one, we have the end here. Yep, there we go. Alright, so we get gold, that'll give us more XP. See, we're already up to level 3. And I only did a couple of the tutorials um, and one of those, one of the uh, challenges. So I go back over the challenges, do time attack. Now you can do several of them. Uh, you can see there's four that are already unlocked. Um, as you do these things, and uh, you know, if you get gold, gold on them, 
which I recommend you try until you get that. Um, you get more points, you unlock up pretty much all of them. Uh, what'll happen is, if you go through this and take the time to start, it'll it'll just set you up better uh, to start the first time. Let's see here, this one. just got given these rings and not really doing so well here. Oh, there we go. Uh, you get more time to add in to get them in, it looks like. Alright, well. Looks like I need some more practice myself here. Uh, we'll go back and we'll check out some of the other ones here. Challenges. Time trial. I believe this one here, uh, what you want to do is you have a certain amount of time to clear all the rings. As you get it in one of these rings, they'll disappear. And the idea, obviously, is is to get all of the rings. Let's see here. Yep, see, we got that one, so it disappears. So you want to try and clear them out here. I'm really not a great caster. <laughs> Even after all the time I've spent in this game, uh, I do a lot more just kind of winging it out and reeling it to where I want. Uh, another important feature of the casting, after you do the tutorials, I ran through it this time and I didn't see it added, so I'm just going to mention it here. But there is a button on the Xbox controller, it's the right trigger. Uh, offhand, I don't know what it is on the keyboard, but it's put your finger on the line. What that do, that can... Uh, slow that line down, you know, let it drop, and also when you're casting for real, going out for the fish, what you want to do, you can do that and it'll create less of a splash, less noise in the water, uh, you know, less chance to see the fish, fish as you plump that uh, bait down into the water. Let's see if I can get all the way out here. Alright, and that's enough, you get the idea. We got one left is the distance, and that's uh, it's pretty easy. Basically you chuck it as far as you can. Uh, not too hard. There is a multiplier based on time. So what you want to do, you want to try and chuck it as far as possible, as fast as possible. <laughs> you know, they do get harder. This is just the first one so you get an idea. See, it starts out there at seven times the point, so whatever dif distance you get, you times it by seven if it goes through at that time. So there we got it, we went through, and there we go. Uh, as you can see now, the longer you wait, the more it ticks down, but the, the target also expands here. Let's, let's see, see it expands, and you get less bonus as you go. So if you're having some trouble, you know, hitting the target, you can always do that. You don't get as many points, but, you know, still good practice, but yeah, really gets you going here. Get you prepared, uh, anything to really get that casting down. It does take a little while to get used to it. Uh, these things help greatly. But now you should be all set. You should have plenty of points. So take a look at the store. Now they have added some uh, new new rods and stuff like that. A uh, lower one. I actually I hadn't messed with rods before, and I started switching them. Uh, they do have different kinds of action on them, so it might be a good idea. Some rods might work better for you. If you look down to the lower left here, where I'm at on the screen, that is the uh, carp branch of the tree, the the store tree. Up here to the left is course. Now in these branches you'll mainly find gear for you know that type of fishing. That's all that's on there. Uh, you can mix and match obviously and you'll want some from everything really. Up here is the match. I'll just kind of go through here some of the different offerings that are there. And the bottom right here is stalking. There we go. Like I said, there's different baits and everything for each one. And what you want to do, you know, I always found that 
the white bread flakes there, they uh, <laughs> they don't do too much to catch. I like to get, you know, sweet corn or any other ones. Uh, if you do the tutorials and you do all of those uh, challenges, if you get them all done, before you go out, you should have plenty of points. You can get yourself some bigger hooks, some different kinds of hooks and bait. Uh, I only did a couple, so I only have 150 tackle points at the moment. So, but, uh, you know, I'd highly recommend that before you go out. Uh, it'll give you a more pleasurable experience the first time out. Well, this has been part one of the tutorial. Uh, I hope to see you again soon for part two. And as always, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you.